So it turns out you and a flamingo have something in common, and that is that astaxanthin can give you a beautiful natural glow. So to find out what astaxanthin is, what it can do for your skin, and whether you should be taking it, keep watching. As ever, this is all backed by science. So a quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona and I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. On this channel, we talk about how to eat for great skin because true skincare starts on your plate. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps the channel. Right, let's get into this. What is astaxanthin? Astaxanthin is a ruddy orange pigment that occurs in nature. It typically occurs in algae and as it bioaccumulates up the food chain, it turns all the creatures who eat it a ruddy orange pinkish color too. So if you've ever wondered where salmon and lobsters and yes, those flamingos get their striking color from, it's all down to astaxanthin. And what does astaxanthin astaxanthin do for your skin. Now astaxanthin won't turn you pink but it might give you a natural glow. Astaxanthin is a powerful antioxidant that helps to protect these marine creatures against UV damage and hyperpigmentation. And it's easy to forget but we are also creatures of the natural world so it turns out that when we eat astaxanthin it might have a similar effect in us. As you can see research into astaxanthin has exploded in recent years. Broadly speaking supplementing with astaxanthin has been to improve skin texture, reduce hyperpigmentation, minimize wrinkles, boost hydration, and enhance natural sun protection. And this is all to varying degrees depending on the study. But do you have to supplement with astaxanthin or can't you just eat it? You can definitely just eat it, but the trouble is most of us don't manage to eat enough. To put this in perspective, somewhere between three and six milligrams of astaxanthin daily is enough to have an effect on your skin. Now that is the amount found in a large fillet of wild salmon or about half a lobster. And that's the rub. I'm a nutritionist, but I don't manage to eat salmon every day and I certainly don't eat lobster every day. The wild part is also important because farm salmon and sometimes farm lobsters are fed a synthetic astaxanthin to give them that lovely coloring. But the synthetic version doesn't have such a powerful effect in your body. So although food first is always preferable, to get a reliable dose of astaxanthin in daily, supplementing might be the way to go. And as I said, it is powerful stuff. As an antioxidant, it is 6,000 times more powerful than vitamin C, 100 times more powerful than vitamin E, and five times more powerful than beta carotene, which is another carotenoid with proven skin benefits. It's all because unlike other antioxidants, astaxanthin has the unique ability to work both inside and outside the skin cell. So it's really good at both preventing damage and mopping up damage. Now, is there a catch to this? If you're wondering if this sounds all too good to be true, I'm glad because we should all have a healthy dose of skepticism when it comes to anything that sounds like a magic pill. And there is a possible fly in the ointment when it comes to astaxanthin. And that's because even though a lot of the clinical trials looking into astaxanthin have been randomized, double blind and placebo controlled, AKA the gold standard, there's still a big question mark over the quality of the research showing that astaxanthin can have all these benefits on your skin. Firstly, the trials have all been pretty small and conducted mainly in Japanese women. So it's kind of hard to argue that their findings apply to all of us. And secondly, and this is the biggie, lots of these trials have been funded or conducted by people with a commercial interest in astaxanthin, which means that the risk of bias is possibly high. In simple terms, if you want to sell astaxanthin as a supplement, it's natural that you're going to be way more invested in making sure your trial has a positive result. This diagram kind of sums it up. Green dots mean no risk of bias, red dots mean high risk of bias and yellow dots mean it's not clear. As you can see, when it comes to astaxanthin research, there are some pretty murky waters. But this is not a reason to write off the research entirely and this problem is certainly not something that's exclusive to astaxanthin. But it is something just to keep in mind before you run to take astaxanthin supplements because it might factor in in how you want to spend your hard earned money. So is it worth it? Now, even with these limitations to the research, astaxanthin is one of those supplements that people do seem to feel makes a difference. The main feedback I hear from clients who take astaxanthin is that it really enhances their skin's tolerance to the sun. And by that, I mean that if they're in the sun, they feel they're much less likely to burn. Now, I will add, this is not a reason to skip the sunscreen, but you can see astaxanthin is giving you that extra layer of protection. Now, I also know clients and 
have friends actually who swear that astaxanthin gives them a natural glow. And I've also heard from my clients with lighter skin tones that taking astaxanthin consistently gives them more of a tan in the summer and just a bit more color in the winter. And actually I remember one lady in particular who said that she had to change her makeup because her foundation shade just no longer matched her skin. It was a bit too light and that was in the winter. You can also bear in mind that skin enhancement isn't the only reason people take astaxanthin. It's also been shown to have benefits for eye health, for joint health and even brain health. Now I personally don't take astaxanthin at the moment and that's for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I do take other supplements for my skin, things like collagen and fatty acids and I just don't want to be popping loads of pills. And secondly, and this is the main one, I'm currently pregnant and astaxanthin hasn't been proved specifically for use in pregnant women like most supplements out there. But that's not to say I wouldn't take it. In the future, especially if I were going on holiday to somewhere a lot sunnier than little old England, I might consider taking astaxanthin both before and during my trip. If you've had any experience with astaxanthin supplements, either good or bad, I'd love to hear about it. So just drop a comment below. So what are the best astaxanthin supplements? Just before we get into this, let me say that if you are interested in this concept of leveraging food as skincare, you want to download my free guide, Skincare Starts on Your Plate, Your Jumpstart Guide. You can find it at my website, FionaLawsonNutrition.com, and I will pop the link in the video description box below for you. Right, back to astaxanthin. Before I show you some of my preferred astaxanthin supplements, let me explain what you're looking for in a supplement so you can feel confident in also choosing one for yourself. Firstly, you want to make sure it contains naturally derived astaxanthin, preferably from this alga. There are some synthetic astaxanthins around and they're just not nearly as powerful as the real deal. Secondly, you want your astaxanthin to come in a supplement with a source of healthy fat, like extra virgin olive oil or a vegan omega-3. That's because this fat helps your body to absorb and use the astaxanthin more effectively. Thirdly, look for a formulation that contains around four to six milligrams of astaxanthin per capsule. That is enough to see an effect on your skin so you shouldn't need to take more than one capsule daily. And lastly, you need to commit to taking it for at least 12 weeks or three months before you can judge whether it's having an effect. So you might want to start it well in advance of the summer, for example, to maximize on its UV protecting potential. Luckily, as supplements go, astaxanthin is reasonably cost effective, so doing this isn't a huge investment in your skin. Right, let me show you some of the astaxanthin supplements that I rate. But before I do, please remember that these are not personalized recommendations. Astaxanthin can interact with some medications, so be safe. Make sure you check in with your doctor before you start any new supplements. The first one is Life Extension Astaxanthin with Phospholipids. This provides four milligrams of astaxanthin per capsule and comes with phospholipids as that healthy fat to aid their absorption. Price-wise, this is kind of mid-range for astaxanthin, so if you want a more cost-effective alternative, another option is Now Supplements Astaxanthin. This again gives you a four milligram dose, but this time in extra virgin olive oil. This is readily available, particularly in the States, and I will pop some links in the video description box below. If you're in the UK, another one I really like is Higher Nature's Astaxanthin. This has a really similar formulation to the Now Supplements one, again with four milligrams of astaxanthin in extra virgin olive oil. Again, price-wise, it's kind of mid-range, but I have noticed it's often on offer. And lastly, we have Pure Encapsulations Astaxanthin. Again, this provides it's four milligrams of astaxanthin per capsule, but price-wise, it's almost double the price of the other ones I've mentioned. And that's probably because it's also the cleanest formulation amongst the lot. It doesn't have any fillers at all, so if this one is within your budget, it's certainly a good one to try. As mentioned, all the product links are in the video description box below, but before you try any, make sure you check in with your doctor first. So to sum up, astaxanthin is a powerful antioxidant that occurs naturally in algae. Research suggests it can even out skin tone, reduce wrinkles, minimize hyperpigmentation, and can a degree of natural sun protection. Now the research is a bit mixed but some people do seem to swear by this supplement. If you want to try it, look for a supplement that contains four to six milligrams of astaxanthin per capsule in extra virgin olive oil or another healthy fat. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you might like another video I've done on an oil that is fantastic for your skin but which not many people know about and I will pop that video there. I hope to see you there, otherwise I will see you next time for another video on nutritional skincare. Thank you for watching.